uh, Councilman Wadsworth, would you please do the honors? Sure. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Wadsworth. Ready, uh, Madam Clerk. You mute it. You mute it, Madam Clerk. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I apologize. I'll start all over. So, okay. good evening, Honorable City Council, uh, to Mayor Burcroft and to our City Treasurer Stacy Page, to our Deputy Clerk, to all of our administrative staff and to the listening audience. Today's date is Monday, April the 12th, and this is the City of Romulus City Council regular meeting. Uh, this meeting is being held electronically via the Zoom meeting telecommunication platform. Tonight's meeting ID number is 832-2683-6698. This meeting is being held pursuant to Public Act 254 of 2020 and the resolution declaring a local state of emergency adopted by City Council on March 29, 2021 by resolution number 21-093, which permits remote attendance by members of a public body using telephonic or video conferencing means in certain circumstances and to allow the public business of the Romulus City Council to be conducted in a manner that permits both the general public and the members of the public bodies to participate by electronic means under the circumstances allowed by law. Members of the public body must further identify specifically by stating the county, city, township, or village and state from which he or she is attending the meeting remotely. Members of the public wishing to participate in this meeting may do so by phone or online from the Zoom meeting application. To join this meeting from your, by phone, call 1-646-558-8656 and when prompted, enter the meeting ID followed by the pound sign. During the public comment portion of the meeting, the raise hand method will be used to address the city council. Citizens may also submit written comments by email to public comment at romulusgov.com before the end of the public comment portion of the agenda. And at this time, we will have roll call. Councilwoman Abdo. Present, Romulus, Michigan, Wayne County. Councilman Barton. Present, Romulus, Michigan. Count we know that Councilwoman uh, Roscoe is not present for this meeting. Just excuse. All right. And our condolences to Councilwoman Roscoe and her family. Um, Councilwoman Tally. Here, Romulus, Michigan. Council, Councilman Wadsworth. Um, it's here, Romulus, Michigan. Councilwoman Webb. Here, Romulus, Michigan, Wayne County. And Councilwoman Williams. Here, Romulus, Michigan. Mr. Chair, we have a quorum. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Tonight's council meeting agenda is as follows. Number one, agenda. Number two, minutes. Three, petitioner. Four, chairperson's report. Five, mayor's report. Six, clerk's report. Seven, treasurer's report. Eight, public comment. Nine, unfinished business. Ten, new business. Eleven, warrant. Twelve, communication. And number 13, adjournment. And a motion would be in order to accept the regular council meeting agenda as presented. So move to accept the regular council meeting agenda as presented. Support. It's been motioned by Ms. Talley, supported by Ms. Abdo for approval of the agenda as presented. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Williams? Ms. Williams? Yes. Ms. Webb? Ms. Webb? 
Yes, I just sort of went into La La Land here for a minute. Okay. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wadsworth? <laughs> yes. Uh, Chair votes yes, motion approved. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> wow. Number two for the minute. Uh, agenda item 2A for approval are the minutes from the regular meeting held on Monday, April 5th, 2021 at 7.30 p.m. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I will move that we um, that we approve the minutes of April the 5th of 2021. Support. It's been motioned by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Kelly for approval of the minutes from our regular meeting held on Monday, April the 5th, 2021 at 7.30. Mr. Wadsworth. Yes. Ms. Tally. Yes. Ms. Abdo. Yes. Ms. Webb. Yes. Ms. Williams. Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Agenda item 2B for approval are the minutes from the special meetings held on Monday, April 5th, 2021 at 6 o'clock p.m. to discuss the preliminary 2021-2022 fiscal year budget. So I'll move for approval of the minutes from the special meetings held on Monday, April 5th, 2021. Support. Support. Okay. The motion by Ms. Abdo, supported by Ms. Webb for approval of the minutes for a special meeting held on Monday, April 25th, 2021. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Mrs. Webb? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Chair votes yes, motion approved. There are there are no uh, petitioners on the agenda. Number four is the chairperson's report. Thank you, Madam Clerk. At 6 p.m., we just had a discussion proposed for the 2021-22 uh, 20, fiscal year budgets for the cities, the libraries, and the 34th court. At this time, the chair has no further report. Through the chair, I'd like to make that motion to accept your chairperson's report. Support. It's been motioned by Ms. Talley, supported by Ms. Abdo, for approval of the chairperson's report. Yes. Ms. Talley? Mrs. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Uh, thank you. Number five is the mayor's report. Uh, good evening, city council, uh, clerk, deputy clerk, treasurer, and listening audience. Um, I, I did want to wish uh, my condolences and, and ask for prayers for Councilwoman uh, Roscoe uh, for the loss of her father. Uh, please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, I do have a few action items, um, Mr. Chairman, tonight. Uh, the first of which is a um, request from Tanya Cofield, our Recreation Department Coordinator. Uh, this one is a request to concur with administration and authorize a no fee permit. This would be for the use of Elmer Johnson Park Pavilion on Saturday, June 26th of this year uh, for the Romulus High School Class of 2011 for their reunion picnic. Uh, a 2021 park and pavilion rental application must be completed and submitted to the Recreation Department prior to the issuance of that no fee permit. I do want to make note uh, because of the COVID that um, uh, Tanya Cofield has confirmed uh, the date available and all necessary safety protocols and social distancing requirements will be followed should city council concur with the request. Uh, Mr. Chair. Chairman, I will move that we, um, that we issue a no fee permit for the uh, Romulus um, um, High School class of 2011. Support. In motion by Mr. Wadsworth supported by Mrs. Webb for a no fee permit for the Roman High School class of 2021. Any discussion? Here, no discussion, roll call vote. Uh, excuse me, through the chair. Yes, you, you read 2021, 2011. Huh? It's 2011. Class of 2011. Just oh, class. wow. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, well, wow. John, on the front cover letter, it did say 2021. So there was it a did say 2021. So you're not going crazy. Okay, <laughs> thank, uh, thanks, uh, Mr. Abdo. I appreciate okay. that. Uh, Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Do you have votes yes? Motion approved. Thank you, Council. Uh, the next is also a request from Tony Cofield, the Recreation Department Coordinator. Uh, this one is to concur to administration and authorize a no-fee permit for MVP Academy uh, to use the St. John Lodge Park baseball fields uh, for Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6.30 to 8 p.m. beginning April 13th through July 13th of this year. A 2021 parks and uh, pavilion rental application will also be uh, submitted and also they will be following the protocol. Through the chair. Let's go ahead, Ms. Talley. I'd like to make that motion to concur with administration and authorize a no fee permit for MVP, excuse me, Academy to the for use of the St. John's Lodge Park baseball fields on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6.30 to 8, beginning April 13, 2021 through July 13, 2021. A 2021 Parks and Pavilion rental application must be completed and submitted to the Recreation Department, department prior to issuance of the no fee permit. And I do have a, a question. Okay, uh, who support that first? I'll support with comment, please. Okay, it's been motioned by Ms. Talley, supported by Ms. Abdo, request for a no fee permit for the MVP Academy. Discussion of Ms. Talley and then Mrs. Abdo. Yeah, and I did talk to Tanya earlier on, on the motion. It says on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but then in the detail, it just says Tuesday. So I just want to make sure I'm making the right motion. Yes, I believe that it is going to be um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mr. Abdo. I just wanted to know that they have agreed to help keep the field in shape by raking, picking up litter on a weekly basis and helping maintain the park. And I think that's important. Yes. Okay. Okay. If there's no other further questions, roll call vote. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Do you have votes? Yes. Motion approved. Thank you, Council. Uh, the next is also a, a request from Tanya Cofield. Uh, this one is to concur with the administration and authorize an OP permit for the use of historical park for the annual Bird Family Reunion on July 25th of this year. Uh, uh, also, the park pavilion rental application must be completed and submitted to the rec department prior to the issuance of the permit. And also the um, uh, the date is available and those protocols for social distancing um, will be in place. Mr. Chair, Go ahead. I'd, Go like ahead, to make that, I'd like to make that motion to concur with the administration and authorize a no fee permit for the use of the historical park for the annual bird family reunion on July Support. 25th, 2021. Support. A motion by Ms. Webb, supported by Mr. Wadsworth for a request for a no fee permit for the Bird family reunion. Any discussion? Yes, John. Yes, go ahead, Mr. Abdo. I, th I just wanted the public to know why this is that the Bird family, uh, the people that do donated the big historical house on Wayne Road, the Bird family home, that this is all related. Some people may be saying, why are they able to use this historical park you know, for nothing? So um, I just wanted to bring that up. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Abdo. Ms. Webb? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Do you have votes yes? Motion approved. Thank you, Council. Uh, the next, there's two separate uh, motions, uh, and that's because different terms. This is uh, action for the uh, Municipal Library Board reappointments. Uh, the first request that's before you is a request to concur the administration and approve the reappointment of Candace Lukowitz to the Municipal Library Board with a one-year term that would expire on April 11th, 2022. To the chair. 
Yes, Ms. Talley. I would like to make that motion to concur with the administration to approve the reappointment of Candace Lukowitz to the Municipal Library Board with a one-year term to expire April 11, 2022. Support. Been motion by Ms. Talley, supported by Ms. Williams, to concur with the administration to approve the reappointment of Candace Lukowitz to the Municipal Library Board with a one-year term to expire on April 11, 2022. Any discussion? Hear no discussion, roll call vote. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Mrs. Webb? Yes. She have votes yes, that motion is approved. Thank you, Council. And the second uh, reappointment is to concur the administration and approve the reappointment of James Naprakowski to the Municipal Library Board with a five-year term that would expire April 11, 2026. So moved. Support. In a motion by Ms. Webb, supported by Ms. Abdo, to concur with the administration and approve the reappointment of James Nabokowski to the Municipal Library Board with a five-year term to expire April 11th, 2026. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, roll call vote. Ms. Webb? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. She have motions, that motion is approved. Thank you, Council. Last action item is a budget amendment. Uh, this one is to concur with the administration and to introduce budget amendment 20-21-19 uh, for preparation of the actuarial funding valuation of the City of Ramos Retiree Health Care Plan as of June 30th, 2020. Uh, the budget amendment was for 17500 uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll, I'll uh, move that we approve the introduction of budget amendment 20 slash 21-19. It's for the uh, City of Romulus Retirees Health Care Plan. Support. In motion by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Talley, for introduction of budget amendment 20-21-19. In discussion. Hear no discussion. Roll call vote. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you, Council. Uh, that concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. Number six is the clerk's report. I have one action item under my report. And what you have before you is for introduction and first reading of an amendment to city code of ordinances, uh, chapter 30, article two, section 30-25. Um, these are the procedures for issuance of a certificate of registration. And basically what's going on council is that we've asked, we're asking you to amend the section uh, of our ordinance uh, for renewals. All we did was just take out the notary requirement and it's only for um, renewals or duplicate certificates. Um, we, all, we would already have an original application on file that has already been notarized. So what we're trying to do is become you know, more business friendly. Um, we found that during the pandemic, you know, when we were all, everything was shut down, we're doing everything electronically and we had businesses that were sending in their renewals um, and, and a check, but it was hard, you know, to, for the notary part of it. So we found that if, um, you know, if there, if there are no changes or anything for a renewal, then they would not have the notary, no, I'm sorry, the notarization requirement um, would not be needed. Um, we've also added, um, instead of that application, it's now part of their invoice. So all of that information, the invoice and the application is one document makes it easier for the businesses. When we send that out to them, they get it back to us, no changes. They have a, um, uh, a check along with um, their renewal and we're able to go ahead and process those renewals. So that's what we're just amending here for um, this ordinance amendment. Thank you for explaining that. 
George, do you have a motion? Oh, to the chair. Yes, go ahead, uh, Ms. Talley. I'd like to make that motion for the introduction and first reading of amendment to section 30-25 of city code of ordinance, please. Support. It's been motioned by Ms. Talley, supported by Ms. Abdo for the introduction of the first reading of amendment to the city code of ordinance, chapter 30. In discussion, hearing none, roll call vote. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mrs. Wayup? Yes. Chair votes yes, motion approved. Thank you, council, and that concludes the clerk's report. Number you, seven is the treasurer's report. Our city treasurer is online. Oh, can, can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Good evening, council, mayor, clerk, deputy clerk, and listening audience. I have one item that I wanted to report under my agenda. Um, there was a resident that brought to the attention of the mayor's office that um, if I was to dive into the um, unclaimed property, that mission. At Gov, there was some unclaimed property for the city of Romulus. So I did do that and I did find um, that information out and I'm in through the process of claiming that. But um, I, so I wanna thank that resident for bringing it to our attention, but I also wanna let our residents know that when I put in city of Romulus for the last or business name, it, lots of properties or lots of names came up that I recognized here in the city. So I encourage you to go to the website I encourage you to go to unclaimedproperty.michigan.gov, type in your name. It's also asking for the city in zip code and see if you're in there or see if a family member's in there and please reach out and let them know. I put in city of Romulus, several people came up. So I encourage you to go in there and take a look and see if you're in there or somebody that you know. Again, that's at um, unclaimedproperty.michigan.gov. And that's all I have to report this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Treasurer. Uh, through the chair, may I ask the uh, treasurer one? It's a yes. simple question. Is it Michigan spelled out or M-I? It is Michigan spelled out. Okay, thank you, Stacey. Of course, and if you have any questions, you can always call my office. I'd be happy to help. Thank you. you. Repeat that one more time, please. Sure, it is unclaimed property dot michigan dot gov okay thank, thank you Madam. and again thank you. thank you to the resident that shared that with us thank you thank you next number nine i'm sorry number eight and that's public comment and this is the portion of the meeting for those members of the public wishing to address city council the raise hand method will be used to identify those who to speak. If you join the meeting online, use the raise hand icon from the meeting app and then tap the microphone icon to unmute yourself after you've been acknowledged. If dialing in from a touchstone phone, press the star nine to raise your hand and then press star six from your phone to unmute yourself when you've been acknowledged. After you have been acknowledged, we ask that just for the record that you would state your name. You will have three minutes to speak. Um, upon expiration of those three minutes, you may be muted, um, pending if you have not asked for additional time from the chairperson um, to continue uh, with your comments. Again, you will have three minutes to speak. Um, any additional time will be upon the approval of the chairperson if you do not have that approval and you continue on then you will be muted um, also as a reminder citizens may also submit written comments by mail to public comment at romulusgov.com before the end of the public comment portion of the meeting and again at this time if there's anyone from the public that would uh, like to address city council we ask that you um, use the raise hand icon to indicate that you would like to speak. 
if you're not sure how to do that. And your video is on, you can raise your hand and then we can, <laughs> we can acknowledge you. Okay, we have several people here. And um, I believe the first person that I saw with the raised hand was uh, Mr. Vandebrook. So um, we have Ronald Vanderbrook. So I'm going to unmute you, Mr. Vanderbrook, and you will have three minutes to speak. Go ahead. Hi. Um, what's the name? One one three nine eight. I'm gonna punch you later. One one three nine eight. Harrison. Street? Harrison Street. And I was uh, referring to that property address today because I was uh, interested in uh, acquiring it and uh, getting it off the demolition list and making it uh, up to code, get the proper taxes paid, you know. I've got uh, people over there with a couple of dumpsters already this week cleaning it up, making the property look good out front. I know it's been a, a blight for a while, an eyesore. And so I was hoping uh, that, I know they have that, they tabled this uh, demolition for a while. Uh, while we had the opportunity to start cleaning it up, showing that we're serious about making the property look good, bringing it to code. So tonight, I'm, I'm asking for you to uh, approve um, me being able to uh, do that, to acquire the property and uh, bring it to code as a residential property. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vandenbrook. Um, the next person that's uh, requesting to speak, and uh, forgive me if I mispronounce your first name, but I believe it's Kieta McKinney, and uh, you may now um, address City Council. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening, Council. Uh, my name is Kieta McKinney, and I am uh, a representative from uh, Congresswoman Rashida Salib's office. Um, I just wanted to take a quick moment to um, go ahead and give a brief update. Um, I know time is very limited tonight, so I'll be quick. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and provide um, additional information regarding some of the questions our office has received. Um, one being uh, the most recent economic impact payment. I know that there's been several residents who ran into issues obtaining either their second stimulus payment or um, have concerns or questions regarding the third, um, I just want to um, make it known that our office um, has been assisting residents with any questions regarding this matter. So I encourage any of our residents who um, have not already filed a recovery rebate credit and have not obtained their stimulus payments to do so. Um, and then also too, if you have any questions or concerns regarding that, please feel free to contact our office. Um, I will leave that information in the chat. And then secondly, um, also regarding um, resources. We know that there is the COVID emergency relief assistance program, which is called uh, the SARA program with the state of Michigan for those who need housing and uh, rental assistance, as well as utility assistance. Um, I wanted to clarify a couple of questions that our office also received. Um, that is basically a more modified version of last year's economic, or I'm sorry, eviction diversion program. And um, while there's residents who are concerned about eligibility requirements, I just want to let it be known that those who qualify for that program most definitely can uh, reapply for this one. So um, again, I just wanted to extend my services to you all and I will go ahead and leave that information in the chat and can answer any questions that you may have. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chair, I do not see any other hands raised from anyone indicating that they or wishing to address city council. Okay. Well, uh, Madam Clerk, we'll close that part out. Okay. That takes us to number nine, which is unfinished business. And um, this is, it's in two parts. And um, 9A would be the uh, motion to untable um, the actions on the properties from the demolition list 20-01 for locations uh, 11398 Harrison, 11647 Middle Belt, and 11528 Whitehorn. The, um, this matter was tabled at the February 8, 2021 regular council meeting and before any discussion on uh, the demolition um, 
list, you will have to untable it. A motion will be in order to untable it. Um, Mr. Chairman, I'll move that we uh, put it back on the table. Support. Support. Who supported that? Tally. Tally. Mr. Tally and Abdo. <laughs> okay. It's been motioned by uh, Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Abdo, to untable the action on the properties from the demolition list 20 01 11398 Harrison, 11647 Middle Belt, 11528 Whitehorn, tabled at the 2 8 2021 regular council meeting. Any question? Any discussion? No discussion. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Williams? <laughs> Ms. Williams? Yeah. Ms. Webb? Yes. Chair Boshes, <laughs> Agenda item to be a hearing, I'm sorry, 9B. A public hearing was held on. The removal of debris on the properties described and demolition list 20-01 at that at that hearing and by resolution of city council by resolution number 21-042 at the regular council meeting held thereafter the following properties were tabled for 60 days 11 398 Harrison 16447 Middle Belt 11 528 Whitehorn Robert McCrake, McCrake, Director of Public Services and Economic Development, has submitted his status report on the compliance efforts of owners and or interested parties of the stated properties. The agenda item is a continuation of the request by the Department of Building and Safety at the February 8th, 2021 regular council meeting, and that is for council to approve the demolition and removal of all debris for the aforementioned um, properties from demolition list 20 01. Therefore, it's up to council at this point uh, to approve um, the demolition of those structures. That's the motion. Uh, dear the chair, may I say something first? Uh, Bob, there's a gentleman, I think it's two gentlemen, two gentlemen on the line uh, stating that I, I think Mr. Vanderbrook wanted to purchase the property. I thought that property belonged to someone else and it is still on the demolition list. I mean, it was tabled, but it will be on the demolition list. Has he contacted you? The, the owner of the property is on the line. Okay, the owner of the property. I thought, sir, excuse me, I just thought that you said you wanted to purchase the property. Oh, Mr. Vandenbrook wants to purchase it. Oh. And I'm the owner, Frank Romeo. But it's still the recommendation of the Department of Building and Safety. Um, this property has been vacated since uh, November 2005. It's been a repeated blight to the community, several board ups. Um, it's also lost its non-conforming residential status. Um, so our recommendation on this property, we'd be requesting that it be left on demolition list 20-01. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Do we have a motion? I'll make that motion that we approve the demolition list as stated. Support. Motion by Ms. Abdo, supported by Mr. Wadsworth for approval of demolition. May I say something, please? Go ahead. Uh, we've uh, we've got a lot of money tied up in remodeling and and uh, improvements in the house right now. The house is just about ready for a city inspection, and uh, it did be the wrong thing to do to de demolish the house at this point. Uh, I can go on and on as far as the number of reasons. Uh, that it'd be the wrong thing. And, and actually the city, the building department, the city around this building department has the uh, contract from the contractor, Mr. Vandenbrook and uh, his, his partner uh, to, re to, to put the place back into excellent condition. 
and do everything it needs and have the city uh, inspect it and put it back on the property tax rolls. Uh, and uh, there's really no reason. It's a, it's a sturdy brick house. It's 1,500 square feet with a basement. And uh, there's no there's no reason any, anybody would want to uh, demolish it. We've had uh, we've had discussions with the city, the building department, and the mayor's office. And uh, uh, for the life of me, I can't see why uh, you know you're taking the, the you, you know the, the you you want to demolish a good property and uh, give them give them a house this table it for another 60 days. And at, at the end of 60 days, if not sooner, it'll be ready for you to inspect and uh and sell uh give them give them mr vandenbrook and mr jones 60 days uh and the owner frank romeo 60 days myself and uh we will uh, have that looking just like new uh, well, the chair, I think, if I may, you know, we are yeah. in the middle of a motion we just a minute uh let me let me let me uh intervene here um uh, mr mccray and eric who have spoken on this the motion was made by miss abdo supported by miss Mr. Wadsworth, and we're gonna continue this uh, motion. Uh, if there's no discussion from council, uh, Ms. Abdo? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Williams? Ms. Williams? Ms. Webb? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Tell votes yes, motion approved. We move on to the next agenda item, number 10, for new business. Any new business? If there's no new business, next on the agenda for approval is uh, warrant 21-7. Mr. Chair. Ms. Abdo. Uh, yes, I'd like to make a motion that we pay warrant 21-7 in the following amounts. General fund, $106,705.21. Major street fund, $6,279.89. Local street fund, $4,857.30. Public safety fund, $56,208.24. Romulus Athletic Center, $1,727. Cable TV, eleven ninety nine, Merriman Street or Merriman Road Special Assessment, twenty eight thousand seven hundred twenty nine dollars and fifty cents. Street Lighting Fund, forty nine thousand three hundred six dollars and eighty cents. Oakwood Sad, six hundred sixty three dollars and seventy five cents. Garbage and Rubbish Collection Fund, eighty nine thousand five hundred fifty four dollars and eighty three cents. CDBG, sixty five dollars. Michigan Indigent Defense Fund, $22,108.33. 9-11 Service Fund, $8,423.11. NARC Forfeiture for the State, $1,842.21. Library Fund, $7,657.23. DDA, $9,212.16. TIFA District 2, $144,429.67. Beverly Road Special Assessment, $2,040. CIP Bonds, the Court Building, $342,987.50. E-Course and Vining Capital Improvement Bonds, $205,012.50. Capital Improvement Bonds, uh, 2014 Capital Improvement Bonds, $174.60. Water and Sewer Fund, $1,091,736.34. Motor Vehicle, $22,089.05. Technology Services, $21,202.94. Retiree Insurance Benefits, $10,828.89. Revolving Fund, $3,420. Current tax, $1,859.61. Payroll fund, $121,534.88. Totaling all funds, $2,360,668.53. Support. The motion by Ms. Abdo 
is reported by Mrs. Kelly to pay warrant number 21-7 for $2,360,668.53. Any discussion? Here, no discussion? Yes, John. Go ahead, Elvis, please. Yes, check number 74804, new badge, the new ID badge printer. Is that something we've already had and we replacing it? Or, I mean, what's the purpose of this item? Is the mayor still on? Yeah, I sure am. My understanding is it was a it was an ID badge printer for HR that was replaced. So if it needs to be altered, we'll let you know. Oh, I no, did I... Want also also want to mention in the back page for council's request that Constellation Gas bill is broken up by address as requested. I see that, and thank you so much. And I just wanted to know what you know what department it was for, and was it new? So thank you for the explanation. You're welcome. Thank you, uh, Miss Abdo. Yes. Mrs. Talley? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes. Chair votes yes, that motion is approved. Number 12 is communication. To the chair? Yes, sir. Ms. Um, Talley? Just wanna express my grief over, um, you know, the, the Celeste, the loss of her dad. And I wanted to ask Madam Clerk, is there something we can do as a council for the family during this time, flowers or something like that, can we do? <laughs> I think that would just be appropriate. Um, she's one of our own. We will uh, make the arrangements. The Thank flowers. you so much. Okay, that's all I got. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other communications? Yes. Uh, Ms. Williams? Yes, like I know last week or at the last council meeting, the mayor said he had uh, put that in motion, but I would just like to, uh, for the council to actually approve a motion to make sure uh, that we do no water shutoffs uh, up until the, um, uh, up until June the 30th, as we did with uh, having meetings uh, on, on Zoom. So if someone would be willing to support my motion. Support. In motion by Ms. Williams, supported by Ms. Abdo. Mm -hmm. uh, for that motion, any discussion? Yes, under discussion, Mr. Chair. Just for the record, can you uh, can you please restate that motion? I, I didn't get the wording. I, I apologize. I just want to make sure just for the minutes. Okay. Extend the no water shutoff until June the 30th, as we did. Uh, uh, for the um, continuing on with the Zoom meeting. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, could, could I just ask yes. for one clarification yes. on that? That would be for where the reason was for non-payment, correct? Because we could have other situations where somebody was stealing water, for example. So you're talking about persons who- uh, The non-payment, yes. Been able to pay their bill. Those would be there'd be no shutoffs until the end of June. Well, it can be the same shutoff notice, uh, uh, Attorney Steve, that we had before, before it expired. So if that's what it was, and, and it, okay. it, it excluded yeah. someone still in the water, then so be it. Okay. Definitely, we don't want to support that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, just for clarity, we're yeah. saying extend the no water shutoffs for non Payment? Non-payment. Okay. Okay. Ms. Williams? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes, with discussion, I, I, I did have one question in regards to this uh, extension. I believe in our last meeting or the meeting before, we did discuss uh, that the residents would have they have the opportunity to still pay on their water bill. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. All right. I just wanna make this clear. It's actually an extension that if they don't pay the full bill, they Thank won't you. shut off. Yes. And, yes. and I've, I've said it to many residents that call me, yes, it would be wise to continue to 
make the smallest payment or the biggest yes. payment that you can make. So when this extension run out, you're not stuck with a huge water bill. Correct. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Webb? Yes. Uh, Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Chair Bosch, yes, that motion is approved. And also, I would just like to, uh, through the chair, I would yes. just like to um, just inform the residents that the Forgotten Harvest is still at the high school. We had to change the time from 11 um, because the school gets out at, um, the buses pull up at a, a quarter to two. So we want to make sure that we are out of there. So we're still there uh, from 11 to uh, 115. And as I've always said, all you need is your uh, address and your name and uh, you'll be loaded up. Thank you. Thank you. Also, John, I want to, I just got a text. So I want to let this be known because uh, Mr. Heinberg also informed me last week about the um, unclaimed property. So I just wanted to give him uh, thanks for, for sharing that information because a lot of information, as sometimes the mayor office inform us, the office and the clerk's office, we're, we're not connected to where we get that information. So I really appreciate him uh, sharing that information. Thank you. Thank you. And, and through the chair, if I may, I have one comment as well as one announcement. My okay, comment good. is to my colleague and her family. Okay. Our hearts all go out to her and that family. So let's just keep them in prayer. And the announcement is the Community Shred Day, May 15th, 2021, from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. at the Rhymeless City Hall Complex. There will be a drive through event. Pull up to the shred truck. Staff will be directing the traffic. Please stay in your vehicle and an electrocycle employee We'll remove the boxes from your vehicle, dump the documents, and return your boxes to the vehicle. There is a limit of two boxes per vehicle. The boxes should not be larger than a standard banker box. For more information, you can call the clerk's office at 734-955-4540. Again, you can bring your shredded papers to the City Hall, May 15, 2021. Thank you. Are you care? Yes. I just yes. wanted okay. to say this behind uh, our Congressperson Rashida Tlaib, uh representative that spoke earlier. I know I've been noticing and a lot of residents have been uh, informing me that our mayor and his chief of staff have made sure that same information, in case you don't get it, I'm sorry. That same information is on the city website for any resident that did not get the address. You can go to the uh, city website and that document is up there. And I, I want to thank Julie and the mayor for making sure that that's on our city website. Thank you. Thank and you. that's about the, the, the light bill, the, your water bill, the taxes. Any, they have all type of uh, services through that uh, particular uh, fund. So thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Julie. Okay, uh, Madam Clerk. Is there any more communication from council? If not, that'll take us to number 13, adjournment, and the time is 8.19 p.m. So move. Support. Right. It's been motioned by Mr. Wadsworth. Who supported that? I did. Oh, Ms. Williams? Yes. For adjournment. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes. Chair Bowles, yes, we are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>